Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Glover is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's immediately tackled. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the pass. Broken up. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 42. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He guns it to the left. And it's caught. Touchdown, UCF! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's a handoff, left side. He's to the 40, makes it to the 44. From their own 44-yard line, first down. On the run, right side. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Spears gains around eight yards on the run. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Central Florida up seven points. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Nice run there. They get about four on that keeper. Now he tries to buy some time. Dives for extra yardage. First and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Sometimes you can catch a defense napping with a well-designed quarterback run, but they were on top of that one all the way. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 39. Central Florida is up by a touchdown. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll give it off here. Tackle around the 16-yard line. from their own 16-yard line. Second down. Laterals back, and the tailback goes nowhere on the option. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going left. Incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. And down he goes at the 44. Pretty good job by the return man there. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Now he's flushed, and they got him. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Central Florida is up a score. They run it left, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line.
They come out in a five wide set. Caught open field. And that was a really well played series by the defense. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. Pressured and brought down. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down. He's hit and got away. Throws complete, big loss. Fights forward to about the 46. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Glover is waiting for the snap. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with, but that never happened on this kick. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do. They get four yards on that pass play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's second and six. Ball on the 28-yard line. Central Florida he is up seven. Strike to his receiver. No good. Over the middle to his tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's taken down at the 45. The Knights have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Tosses it out. He makes his way to about the 45. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. UCF in front, 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Four. 
He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. It's second and 13. Ball on the 48. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 30. Out of bounds around the 17-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass. Touchdown, Tulane! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Dumps it out left to the running back, and they push him out at the 28. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Jackson awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 37. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 37-yard line. He scrambled. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Zips it to the tight end. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Scrambling around. He decides to run with it. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Fires in there. Got it. Touchdown. For Wyatt, that's his second touchdown catch. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. A gain of one. That's a nice completion, but give the defense a lot of credit. They weren't fooled at all. They were able to hold him to a short gain. Jackson is back deep to return. Jackson fields it at the 30, and he's taken down at the 36. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Tulane up seven points. Just throws this one away. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Now he pitches it. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. 
Tackle around the 34-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He's under pressure. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And this one goes out of the end zone, so they'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 24. There's a very impressive open field tackle. complete he's got room to work and they make the stop at the 39 yard line from their own 39 yard line first down they come out on an empty backfield Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. And now the ball is loose. Picked up by the defense. He's tackled at the 33. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. A quarterback so in the gun with five receivers. Right. So now he it. tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tulane is up a score. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of him. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Tulane can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It's up, and he's got it. So we've played two quarters. Tulane in front, 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's an old formation in football called the swinging gate. It's not supposed to apply to offensive line play, but that's pretty much what we've seen in the first half. The gate's been flying wide open for the pass rush. That's not a loving term, huh? The no. offensive lineman probably won't like you very much for saying that. Um, well, then they need to block somebody. <laughs> they, they need to do a better job, that's for sure. And, you know, listen, you get a beat on somebody, you start beating them like that, you start getting in their head a little bit, it now becomes an offensive coordinator's deal. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. The Green Waves put together a couple of nice scores in the first half. Now the opportunity to build on that success. Brad and Kirk ready to call the second half action. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he's taken down right around the 34. It's second down now. And they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. He's scrambling. Pratt gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. From their own 44-yard line, second down. And he's level at the 42. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. He goes downtown. Doesn't get there. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Glover is waiting for the snap. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And he hits him hard at the 27. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Jackson is back awaiting the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. It's second and 10. Ball on the 36. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line.
from the 43 yard line. It's first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made at the 20. From the 20 yard line, first down, five wide. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Strike to his receiver, no good. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll knock him down for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. He gets it up, and it is good. Tulane gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tulane's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, it's just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Runs right for a nice gain. That's good enough to pick up the first down. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. From the 45-yard line, second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. 
And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Toss play, and he's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22. And they hit him in the backfield. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike to the back, no good. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He tackles him for a loss. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle around the 46-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38. He laterals the ball. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Gets to about the 41-yard line. They're just one quarter away. 2010, Green Wave. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They come out in an empty backfield. Well, this offense has got to be elated. This is what they had hoped for, a stop by their defense just to give them a chance. Excellent punt. 
He takes it at the 12. And down he goes at the 26. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Inside give, and he carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 49. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Got an opening. And they get nice yardage on that run. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wide out. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. First and 10, ball on the 40. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Lost the ball, fumble. Second and nine, ball on the 24. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at about the 11. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. This is the 14th play of this drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. The offense is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. 
Touchdown, UCF! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. Central Florida is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Tulane has a three-point lead. Wyatt, left side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Throw in left. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. That's a great tackle at the 42. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Nice run there. Bowser gains about five yards on the run. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 23-yard line, first down. Decides to slide. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Scrambling around, and he can't get away from the pressure. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out in blocking. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. Here's the eighth play of the series. Five wide. They bring him down in the backfield. That looked like a designed run, and they're going to lose about two on the play. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it is good. This game seems to get better and better with every play. These guys are really leaving it all out on the field tonight. Central Florida lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game, a tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? A little over a minute in the game. Quick pass, intercepted. Tackle around the 34-yard line. What a crucial interception, and that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this tie, but wow, do we have a great game or what? From the 34-yard line, first down. They try to get a head start there. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. With a quick throw. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Got the corner. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Bowser comes away with five yards on the carry. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game, and the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Tulane! Great execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. And he adds the extra point. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Touchdown, Knights! It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's level at the nine.
And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives them some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he hits the PAT. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws a bullet over the middle. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. Touchdown, Green Wave. Can you believe this? It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Tulane! So with a first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. Tulane with a six-point lead. To the end zone, intercepted. They don't get it. From the 25-yard line, first down. Brought down at the 11. Laterals back. He's tackled around the 11 yard line. From the 11 yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the two. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he's taken down around the one yard line. Classic situational play calling. Running strong on third and short, it'll move the chains. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, UCF! So three overtimes later, this may finally be it. They're only a couple yards away from victory, but we saw how difficult it was for the other team to get it in from there. And they're looking to get two points here. He caught it! It's over! Unbelievable! So this one goes final. A hard-fought, close game. Central Florida, 42. Tulane, 40.
Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.